Uh, May the 31st, 2019, uh, the business army. Interior, butler's house, midday, some time later. It's the beginning of August. The sky has turned hazy and still. SFX, crickets, the distant drone of some cicadas. SFX, a knock on the door. Butler walks to the door and opens it. There stands McGuire, this time alone. McGuire, smiling once again at the general, lets out a friendly sigh. McGuire, the hot days have really started, haven't they, sir? Thank you, thank you for letting me see you. Butler, you've been dropping by quite a bit lately, haven't you? McGuire, sir, it's for the good of the Legion. Interior, Butler's office. Butler behind his desk. McGuire, this time in one of the chairs, the physical bulk of him seemingly diminished by his surroundings. Butler, I think you've got some explaining to do. McGuire, you know, I can explain whatever you want, sir. Butler, this money that you showed me earlier, where did you get all this money? It cannot be yours. McGuire, well, you see, this movement to unhorse the royal family, there are other people behind it, bigger men than me. McGuire, go on. McGuire, well, there are nine of them, and the biggest contributor has given me $9,000, and the donations, they run all the way from 2500 to $9,000. Butler, what's the object of all this? McGuire, well, the object is to take care of the rank and file of the soldiers, to get them their bonus and get them properly cared for. Butler, with all due respect, Mr. McGuire, it's time for us to get down to brass tacks. The kind of people who are in favor of the gold standard are not the kind of people in favor of the bonus. If anything, the opposite. That's why Hoover in the first place thought he could get away with busting up the bonus march the way he did. McGuire, oh no, sir, you're wrong about that. Butler, well, then, who are these nine men? McGuire, one of them is Colonel Murphy, you know, Grayson M.P. Murphy. I work for him. I am in his office. Butler. How do you end up being associated with that kind of person if you are for the ordinary soldier and his bonus and his proper care? You know damn well these bankers are not going to swallow that. There is something in this, Jerry Maguire, besides what you have told me. I can see that. Maguire. Well, sir, I am a businessman. I have got a wife and family to keep, and they t take good care of them, these fellows. And if you took my advice, you would be a businessman, too. Butler. Well, there has to be more to it than that. What does Murphy have to do with all this? Maguire. Don't you know who he is? Butler. Just indirectly. He's a broker in New York, but I do not know any of his connections. Maguire. Well, he's the man who underwrote the formation of the American Legion for $125,000. He underwrote it, paid for the field work of organizing it, and hasn't got all of it back yet. Butler. And so that's his connection to the royal family. He's the one who makes the kings, is he? He has still got a club over their heads. Maguire. He's still on our side, though. He wants to see the plain soldiers cared for. Butler. So you keep saying. Maguire. It's the simple truth. Butler. And the others of the nine, what about them? Maguire, earnestly. They're solid fellows, General. I can assure you of that. 